David Miller down at City Hall. Word on the street is that you got the unofficial Toronto anthem. T.O.'d from Abdominal featuring notes to self. You know I gotta hear that. Check it out. Toronto, the T dot T O, two face capital like the O, the big smoke, hot town, mega city. It's where I'm from. Frankly, couldn't pick a better city to call home. From the four one of Sky Dome. Sky. I'm Lise, the stencil queen. Now I live in Toronto, have for eight years. So it's United Nations. It's every form of inspiration imaginable. Fabrics and foods and walls and cars and fashion and music. It's everything. Technically, my work is a traditional stencil cut from cardstock, spray paint being used. I take often random images and alter them or my own photography, print them out, cut them out, spray them. I definitely wouldn't consider myself a graffiti artist, but a street artist for sure. My work, it's just about making a space more beautiful, enhancing a space, inspiring other people. I'm more a part of the community events when I paint, through 416, through Under Pressure, through Harborfront Center, City Hall, Jazz Festival, that kind of thing. <laughs> Press pause. Press pause is huge. Press pause exploded. It got us out there, it got us known, it got us international. But we brought to the table everything, everything. <laughs> Music, sculpture, um, fine art painting, spray painting, films, stencils, sketches, everything. We brought, and it was, an, again, United Nations right there. Jamaica, Toronto, St. Vincent, Serbia, Vancouver, you know, that's what Toronto is right there. <laughs> On a morning going to work that wasn't there last night, but it's just about change and inspiration. You see the same thing over and over and over, you stop seeing. It makes communities more colorful. It lets people know that people are out there working and doing things that they're passionate about. It's about sending a message to the community. It's about making somebody smile or making somebody laugh or inspiring somebody to do something themselves. It makes a community a better place, a changing place. It, I think, provides an avenue for maybe younger people to see that they can do something that is not negative and positive for their community. Rekka. Oh, Rekka. His pieces are absolutely the most inspiring thing in this city. Um, some of my favorite spots in the city, Lansdowne Bridge where I started, um, Dundas West, the most random spots, Keel Wall, which is along the go line as you leave the city. Portland and Queen, the site of 416. Queen Alleys from Niagara to Spadina. I think if the community gets more informed, the community will be more receptive because there's no denying, there's no argument that it makes it a more beautiful place. Toronto, a T dot T O, o. Screw face capital like the O, o. the big smoke, hot town, mega city. It's where I'm from, frankly, couldn't pick a better city to call home. From the 401 of Sky Dome, Scarborough, over west to.